Coach Hoogan, boom. Always like to talk to the Painesville guys. You know, I Hope teach so. right there, you know, hey, right there, Painesville, Lake Erie College. First guy to ever, only coach ever in the history of the school. A um, couple national finalists. Okay, still looking to get that champ, right, Coach? That's right. Hopefully my guy, my guy who I trained, who's taken years off my life, Ross Burrow, can get it done. But, you know, looking at what you guys have done and the growth, it's been amazing at Lake Erie College. What are you guys looking for? Why do you come to a combine like this? What makes you think you can get guys? Well, I think you come to a combine like this just to see so many good wrestlers compete against each other in one arena. It's hard to, uh, to get that many good guys to understand who they are in front of you at once. And especially preseason, these guys are here because they want to be here. They're here because they love wrestling. And during the year, you don't always get to see that. But, you know, it's October for a high school season. It's pretty early. So these guys are de dedicated to the sport, showing that they want to be here in front of, I think, 30, 40 colleges every year. So you know, that's what we're looking for, guys who have passion, guys who are, uh, you know, have some success in their state. So that was delivered to us here on the platter. So why wouldn't we be here in the biggest wrestling room in the country? Looking at, you know, I talk Evan Rossborough, he's one of your All-Americans two years ago. Doesn't get it done last year. Yeah. You guys still are, are getting guys on the podium every year. Yeah. That consistency. What's it going to take to get the multiple three, four, five All-Americans and bring a plaque back to, uh, to Paysville to Lickery College? Uh, it's going to take a collective group effort. We don't need three or four or five guys there. We need eight to ten guys at the national tournament, and we need them all in good shape, and we need them to perform at their best. Uh, we had guys not reach their goal last year. And... At the time, we were really disappointed, but that looking back, that probably was the best thing that could have happened to us for this year because we have that whole nucleus back except two guys, which were a huge part of our program. Um, and we have a lot of other guys that we feel underachieved. So those guys together have formed this nucleus to, to mold our freshmen and to mold our underclassmen. And I've never seen a team work so hard. I've never seen uh, the key for us probably this preseason has been attitude. I've never seen a group of guys so excited to train. We don't have to tell them to train. Uh, they show up every day ready to go, and you know, the guy you're talking about, Evan, he's had a great offseason, he's 220, he's healthy, he's having fun, and for him that's going to be the key, staying healthy, having fun, taking care of his grades, which haven't been an issue, so uh, we have a whole team of guys doing that. And to me, that's going to be the key. Uh, you know, you guys are here with uh, Ohio State Jaggers, yeah. Chanel guy, good friend, uh, and then obviously Anthony, Chanel guy. The school closed, but what's it like to come back and, and see guys that you know you, you grew up with in the youth program, Firebirds, you know guys that that you you know known since you're a little kid. What's it like coming seeing those guys? Yeah, it's a lot of fun actually. You know, I take a lot of pride um, coming from that youth program and then Chanel High School now being closed. Uh, there's there's so many good wrestlers that have come out of that small little program, a tiny little wrestling room. Um, so it's fun to, to get back with these guys and just to see how many of our, our friends from the youth program and from high school are still involved with wrestling. Not only on the college level, but you see Adam Kabbalah here from Walsh with, you know, five, six, it's seven. It's Firebird. Guys. I forgot about Firebird. that. Yeah, there's all kinds of guys all over the place. So it's definitely fun, and, and it's fun to compete against those guys. Uh, okay, are you and Anthony Ralph frenemies? I mean, you're, you're two. You're both D2 schools, 20 miles apart, if that. Yeah. Are you guys frenemies? Yeah, I love the guy and I hate him at the same time, <laughs> you know? Because he does a lot of things that we want to do. Uh, he's he's phenomenal at what he does. He's a great recruiter. They have a great program there. You know, Notre Dame's loaded with talent. Uh, but at the same time, I want to beat him. Probably worse than I want to beat anybody else. You guys beat him last year, didn't you? We did. Yeah, we did a duel me. I wasn't going to bring it up. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Probably uh, for, for the program, as far as duels go, uh, the funnest experience I've ever been part of as a coach, and watching 10 guys compete for everything they had. And, and it was fun, but they, they beat us at the national tournament. So, uh, you know, our goal this year is to place as high as we can at the national tournament and have as many guys on the podium as possible. So, we've got a lot of work to do, but I think we've got a great nucleus to achieve that goal. The growth there has been incredible. When I first started talking to you, and you started it in 08, I believe, 09? 2010. 10? Wow. This is our sixth season of wrestling. You guys were starting out with like maybe two scholarships? Yeah. What's the growth been like as far as funding the team and scholarships, Coach? It's been consistent. Um, the administration's been very supportive. And at the same time, you know, we've really created a, a winning culture. And in return, we have a lot of support from our, our contributors, our parents, our friends, our family. So, um, you know, the support over the years has allowed us to do some special things for our program. The naming of our facility, the Zapatelli Wrestling Complex, great local family, built the shower room, did some really special things in our locker room. And, um, you know, it's been, it's been individual contributions like that that have allowed our program to kind of take the next step and to allow us to provide a great atmosphere for our student-athletes. All right, Coach. 
Is there anything else you want a kid to know from this count, this combine, across the country who's thinking about Lake Erie College? What would it be? No, we, we want competitors. We want to win a national championship. You know, if anybody wants to think about Lake Erie Wrestling, even though they're a young program, I said five years ago that our goal is to win a national title. And guys patted me on the back and said, that's great, Coach, and kind of laughed. Uh, we're in a position to have an opportunity to do that. So this year with our recruiting class, we want guys that come in and challenge for spots to help us put us on the national podium um, and, and take our program to the next level. So we're serious about that, and that's why we're here. All right, Coach. Thanks Thank for you. the time. Yeah.